What's going on everyone? I wanted to make a quick video to talk about a mistake that a lot of us make, a mistake that I've made, and um, I'm going to speak very strongly about this and have very strong opinions about this. So one mistake that we all have to stop making is making multiple social media accounts when we can literally just post from the one that already has all of our friends and family and people from college and things like that. And before, you know, you get defensive, let's talk about this, right? Now, before I got into web development, I used to rap. And I had been using that handle, um, that same handle. Uh, my artist name was, was our main. And I used that handle online everywhere. I used that handle on Twitter. I used that handle on Facebook. I used that handle on Instagram. Um, that's actually my Twitch name. Like most people that know me from Twitch uh, only know me as our main, which is actually my artist name. So if they were to Google that name, they would be like, whoa, who's this guy? But what happened was when I wanted to become a web developer, um, I, I wanted to use just like my real name. So first I got started making an email address that I could use for everything that was related to boot camp. That ended up just being my real name because at the time I was job hunting and I was like, mm, I don't, I don't want to make employers think too hard when they look at my email address. I just want it to be my name. Um, and after that, I made a big mistake because I started making completely new social media accounts instead of just changing my name on the old account. And what happened was I disconnected myself from a lot of people. Um, if I were to hop back onto my old Instagram today, I would probably get more interaction than I do with my brand new page that I'm using now because I had that Instagram page for years. It's indexed in search engines. Um, you know, if you type in our main, even though I'm not famous, just my artist name alone is enough to take you to SoundCloud or, or YouTube. I think maybe even a, a band camp might pop up. And when you create these new social media pages, realize that the implications are bigger than you just saying, oh, I want to curate my feeds. And I feel like on this page, I'll post about my dog. And then on another page, I'll post about, you know, only business stuff. It, you're actually harming yourself because we're, we're small fish in a big pond. You need to take advantage of everything that you can in terms of people being able to find you. And it's just never going to happen if you keep uh, trying to separate things. And another thing is, to be honest with you, sorry, my cat's acting up. To be honest with you, when I see that someone has uh, multiple social media pages, that's a big warning sign to me because that, that tells me really deep down you're, you're insecure, okay? You made the second page because you feel like everything needs to be perfect, everything needs to be organized, everything needs to look neat. Maybe you don't want uh, your mom or your brother or your sister or some of your closest friends uh, looking at things that you post on, you know, your personal page versus the, the second business professional page. But look, the bottom line is that no one gives a fuck how many pages that you have. We don't fucking care. OK, <laughs> you should use the page that you're already using, change the username if you want, change the profile picture if you want, change the bio if you want, but stop trying to separate things. You have to have a certain set of skills to be able to manage um, multiple pages at once, even on one platform. So before you go out and start setting up all of this different shit for the business, imagine if you were just you forever online and you could do whatever you wanted to because you've been using that handle or you've been using the same name for years and that's people's point of reference with you already. So, you know, stop, stop trying to separate these pages, stop being insecure and feeling like you need to curate your feed on one page and then you will separate your personal shit from another. Like, seriously, the first thing you should be concerned about is just posting. I, I, I know people that have multiple pages or constantly take down a page and remake a page or constantly remove posts so that they only have three or that they only have six. And they don't even post often enough for it to make a fucking difference. So that, that should be the number one goal. OK, post <laughs> a lot more often than you probably post now. And, and 
you you know, like I was saying earlier, there's bigger implications when you decide that you're gonna quote unquote rebrand yourself, but you're gonna literally um, change like the the entity, the 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 digital space that you were holding to some brand new place that no one knows about, the search engines don't know about, you don't have any history with. And then on top of that, um, it, it kills trust. If, if I go to a business's page, they made three posts, they're all from six months ago and they never posted again. Or if I go to your page, you made two posts, you post once, once a week, it seems like, you know, I don't trust you. <laughs> because you're not active. You're not genuinely using the platform the way it was meant to be used. Do you know what I mean? Like deep down, even without realizing it, all of us can can catch on to things like that. So stop making that mistake. Do not make another fucking social media page. I swear to God, I'm going to start calling people out. If it gets, if this, if this continues, I'm going to start calling people out. Okay. Just post. That's all you need to do. Post, post, post.